What is up everyone? It's VampCalf back again for another RC project. Today I was looking at the old transmitter and was thinking to myself, man, these transmitters are boring. You know, they're all these monotone colors. You don't have much options, so I figured, you know, why not bust out the airbrush today? So I'm gonna go ahead and do a custom paint job on my FlySky FSI6 transmitter. And since I'm going to be dirtying up my supplies, I figured why not uh, airbrush the canopy of my uh, Eosheen E010 uh, FPV. Call it a tiny whoop. Well, I guess we can call that, you know, Kleenex versus tissue paper. Well, whatever. So, uh, gonna be painting the canopy of the tiny whoop and also painting some of the props uh, in a different color. So, what I'm gonna be using is first and foremost. Uh, spaz sticks. If you guys have never used this stuff, it's incredible. Uh, let's, uh, hopefully it'll... This stuff is amazing. Uh, this company. Uh, this is like a plastic prep. Uh, sprays it on. It's almost like an isopropyl. It just cleans off all of the excess grease. It's almost like uh, also kind of like a brake fluid cleaner-ish kind of thing. It just strips all of the unnecessary uh, impurities that you want. Uh, another thing, you don't have to, but I prefer um, using a acrylic uh, primer. This stuff, once it's on, it's on. There's no sanding this brand or this style. If you figured it out, good for you. Uh, it's almost like Plasti Dip. This stuff is amazing. It really sticks paint to the body. And some good old automotive clear coat. This is two in one, so no mixing. This is all in one. The problem is this gets since I'm not, I'm using just a handheld airbrush. I'm not using like a, a, a huge air compressor or anything like that in a big spray can. So the problem with this stuff is it dries awfully fast. So there's a lot of webbing that happens and you'll probably see what I'm talking about in the video. But don't worry, get through the layers, let it dry. You sand it off or what I use is just a rag uh, and then get off all that cobweb crap lay your next coat and it ends up turning out just fine. Uh, then this is the gunmetal. I don't even know if they make this stuff anymore. Uh, I'm sure they do. Um, this is from an RC, uh, what you call it, uh, RC uh, Hearst uh, body that I had oh, probably 10 years ago. Um, but yes, see, it's, oh, and the duh. The most important part is I'll be mixing with the clear coat some pearlescent pigment. Uh, this is called Copperhead Fire and it's like a purple to orange. It's a really pretty pearlescent. I use that on my NQD tear into jet boat. Uh, if you want to go ahead and, well I'll leave a link in the description for the videos for my uh, jet boat, but you know you can go check that out on my page. Well, anyways, let's go ahead and I'm going to tear apart, do all the boring stuff ahead of time, uh, tear apart the transmitter, uh, take out all of the electronics inside, tape it off, and then I'll go ahead and sand it, and then we'll get started.